Sunday morning, it's going to be a beautiful day, going to be doing some flying later with some uh, friends, that's going to be fun. And so, recently, um, last couple of videos you've seen, looked like the ground was really wet. Well, it was, and I ended up crashing, well not really crashing, I ended up landing and the quad kind of, I landed on a little slope and it rolled back right into water. Top down, right where my GoPro is. So. GoPro got sopping wet, but it was still running, so turned it off, you know, took the battery out, and I thought, okay, well, that's all good, you know, because it was still still working. So, put it back together, and uh, it wasn't working. So, got some uh, little silica packs, put it in a little baggie with the silica packs, sealed that down real good, or a band around it, put it in another container, sealed that down real good. Left it in there for about a day and uh, took it out, all good. So it, it's working again, GoPro's working again. But the other piece that got damaged was my video transmitter. So, I had a backup one, but it was an old one that I had destroyed the SMA connector on. And I had uh, had one soldered on there, but the way that it was done, it would cause a lot of interference and stuff. So I thought, well, you know, and I didn't like having the leads because the way that this QAVX is, you can't really have a uh, little pigtail. It doesn't really work very well for mounting it. So you kind of need the SMA connector basically right there on the um, on the VTX. So I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to try using a little whip antenna. I thought, ah, eh, we'll see how that works. So put a whip antenna on there, soldered it directly to it, tested that out the other day, and it was terrible. Um, it would be good for probably racing, you know, open area, you know, where you're going to be in fairly short distance from yourself, you know. Um, I think in that case, I think it would be fine. Um, but doing freestyle and flying in some areas where you've got a lot of other noise and that kind of things, I think it doesn't work very well. So, I mean, I, I could fly, you know, and cover the entire area that I was in and I could still see, but I really just didn't trust it. You know, it just didn't feel, it just felt like it was going to go out at any point. So, because I had a lot of noise. And so I just, I just didn't, I didn't trust it. So I decided, okay, I'm going to put it, I need to, Either figure out how to put a pigtail on this thing and make that work, or I've got to figure out how to resolder that SMA connector directly to the board. And the, and the problem with the, the, the board, a couple of the, the little tabs where you solder to had ripped off. So you really only had one side. So you've got to figure out how to do that, you know, to where it's going to stay on there. So in the meanwhile, um, my uh, Hall Effect... Uh, M9 gimbals came in, so I got those put in, and I um, also, with that, because the way that I did it, and you can't get them, and, and Horus RC is being kind of pains on that, they kind of want you to order something like bundles, so I said, well, okay, I need another VTX anyways for my, my 450 at some point, so I'll go ahead and order that, so I ordered that, and I thought, at one point, I thought about using it, but I wanted to see if I get that, that uh, SMA connector soldered, so I made an attempt at it. And that's what I just did just now. I was just testing to make sure it was good because I'm going to go out flying later and I wanted to make sure everything was solid and that I uh, wasn't getting any interference. And it all looked good. So my solder job was okay, I guess. So we'll see. I don't know how it'll hold up in a hard crash. It may break back off again. But I think it'll hold up for now. And at some point, if I decide, I may get another... I may probably order another VTX and just swap it out and keep this one as a spare just, you know, in, in emergency cases. But all in all, pretty good. I think today's going to be a fun day. And, oh, yeah, the uh, M9 gimbals. Those things are incredible. It felt like I was flying a different quad. I mean, it was, they were, you know, I, I knew they felt smooth when I was just kind of moving around and they felt, you know, really smooth. Even my wife, who knows nothing about gimbals, who knew nothing about the reason that I got them, she's like, oh, is that new? And so I said, yeah, I said, so I got those to replace the other ones because I thought they'd be a little bit better. And uh, they're supposed to be better. And uh, so she was sitting there messing with them, moving around and stuff. And she, and I said, hit, and uh, she said, "Oh, you already changed the mouse." I said, "Yeah." And I said, "Here's the old one." So I handed her the old one, and she kind of moved it around. And then she went back to the other one. She goes, "Yeah, I like these new ones. They feel a whole lot smoother." So even someone who doesn't know anything about gimbals doesn't know anything about what they should feel like or anything could feel the difference. So come out here, did a quick flight to test the VTX, and also to kind of that was really my maiden for the uh, the gimbals as well. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I tested hover testing and stuff, but that's not really a good test. So flying around, doing stuff, they feel so smooth. It it kind of felt like the quad was flying slower. You know, maybe it's because I was much more connected to it and the gimbals feel a whole lot better that I feel more connected. It, I didn't feel like I was, um, sometimes, you know, you kind of feel a little bit like you might not have the control that you really want. Definitely felt like I had the control I wanted. Everything just felt silky smooth. So if you can get those gimbals and you've got a Tyrannus, I highly recommend it. And when you get them, another lesson, recalibrate. Um, it'll save you a little bit of a headache if you don't. So put them in, do a recalibration, and then after you do recalibration, readjust your uh, your trims, your sub your sub trims, um, and you should be, should be good to go. All right, guys, you all have a great one, and everybody.